and welcome to Babs Arcade, new year, new episode, episode 6. Thanks for joining me. Got a load to get through to today. Uh, we've got Specky News, so we've got some new um, Spectrum games, uh, indie Spectrum games that are free from uh, HIO on the site. Um, we've got a latest uh, magazine, we've got a brand new um, launcher QR edition, so that's uh, a new front end for your Spectrum Next. We've got uh, Retro Game of the Month, we've got Modern Retro, got quite a few games there. We've got some pickups, we've got Music of the Month again, uh, we've got YouTuber of the Month, and uh, we've also got some shout outs. So I hope you enjoy the show, and I'll see you in a bit. So first of all, let's have a look at some of the new and exciting Spectrum games that you can uh, download for free. Check these out.
Right, so we've also got our latest version of Crash Magazine. over to the um, Fusion website you should be able to uh, subscribe to this and as far as I know um, it's also going to be available in WH Smiths in February so we can that. So Richard Sherman has been at it again with the Spectrum Next launcher, great front end uh, for the Spectrum Next, and he's just released the QR edition version 11. Loads of fantastic features on there. You've got a, a, a watch, you've got a TV that you can scan QR codes and take to different websites, um, and also you've got. Um, great music and loads of different um, quality of life features um, to add to add in your, your games and uh, one of the great things on there is uh, you've also got a, a Spectrum Next assistant that talks to you so uh, I've just released um, a new video for that and uh, here's a few clips to show you where uh, what it is. I'd also like to mention Patricia Curtis's new game for the Spectrum Next. Um, she's just released a brand new preview to it um, with music and it's this. <laughs> TX 1696, how amazing does that look? It's like the Spectrum Next has turned into an Amiga. Hey, what?
retro game of the month. Now this is one of my favourite Amiga games and it is First Samurai. This game you obviously play as um, as a samurai. One of the first things you'll notice about this game is um, colourful graphics and absolutely groundbreaking um, animation time. Fantastic um, side-scrolling adventure game uh, on the back. It says, uh, feel the force of the computer screen's most authentic and versatile new style of a samurai. Explore and conquer the vast, active and interactive terrain of 24th century Japan with its fantastic physical and mystical dangers. Discover hundreds of bonuses and hidden features as led by hidden areas and hidden objects and stuff you can pick up. Um, plus a unique intelligent hint feature and a personalised access code system. So, yeah. First Samurai, fantastic game. So, here's some footage from this game now. So let's uh, load it up. So for modern retro, first game I want to show you is a game that I'm looking forward um, to it coming out on the Spectrum next. This is the Windows version. Um, but it does use a Spectrum palette and this game is called Melkor's Mansion and just check it out, it's absolutely fantastic. Graphics, music, animation, the whole package and it's free on Windows which is unbelievable. But um, yeah, 
take a look, see what you think. retro game if uh, you ever played a game on the arcade called Ninja Warriors this is a game that went completely under my radar it's called the Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors and it's basically um, a sequel to Ninja Warriors on the uh, Nintendo Switch so yeah it's a, a, a side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up game uh, with ninjas and it's amazing it plays just like an arcade game check it out
Another one of the uh, modern retro games I've come across is Black Future 88. Well, this is, uh, well, I'll, I'll just read what's on, on the back of the uh, case. Black Future 88 is a synth punk roguelike 2D action shooter. You have 18 minutes to vertically climb an always evolving procedural tower, survive the deadly traps. Homicidal AI and powerful wood standing in your way. Uh, so you can unlock over 50 weapons and buffs, um, kill the wardens, ruin friendships with couch and co op. Again, it's for the uh, Nintendo Switch, it uses the pixelated modern retro graphics style. It's awesome, check it out. first bombs fell in the summer of 1988. It was a baptism by a nuclear fire. By December, they had blacked out the sun with endless rain. We decided to stop keeping time, and it's been 1988 ever since. We're not sad. We had it coming. These are the times after. There are no more months or even weeks. Everything, everything is measured in the minutes left to live. Cups. Once you get hold of Invaders, now this is for the uh, Ace Tronic um, console that I have. Very often. Check it out, and here's some of the gameplay. Unfortunately, um, I could only record what was on my 
CRT TV, so the picture's not fantastic. But uh, yeah, nice little, nice little pickup. It's Space Invaders, what is the more to say? It's a uh, pretty good version, not the best, but uh, for a 1978, 79 cartridge is this? Yeah, it's pretty good. Also managed to grab myself um, Kirby's Epic Yarn on the uh, Nintendo Wii. Absolutely love this game, brilliant. Uh, Mario-esque type games if you guys have ever played one of the Kirby games but it really is uh, a fantastic game Another pickup was Limbo, absolutely class game, getting on a bit now, but I saw this special edition and I just had to have it, um, plus you get some 3D glasses with it as well, so there you go, had to be done.
and my last pickup was this Dangerous Dave. Now this was uh, an old game, old PC game, um, back in 1988. Now this is a special edition version, and you get uh, the 1988 Dangerous Dave in the deserted pirate hideout. You get 1990 version. You get 1991 Dangerous Dave in the haunted mansion. You get 1991. Double Dangerous Dave, 1992 Dangerous Dave Returns, 1993 Dangerous Dave's Risky Rescue, 1993 Dave Goes Nuts, 1995 Dangerous Dave Goes Nuts. Uh, you also, so it's a, it's a full collection, so you get all the originals and you also get a modern remake. And this is from Romero Games. So John Romero, basically the guy who brought you Doom. signed box set so uh, there you go don't just stay me some footage enjoy
So my uh, favourite YouTuber musician of the month is a guy who's done uh, music for some Spectrum Next games like Bikers and uh, he also did the Core Dragon music and he goes by the name of a man in his techno shed. So check him out, fantastic musician and he's uh, some of his music now. Right, so my YouTuber of the month, this month, um, fantastic guy, he's been on YouTube a while now, does all different machines, reviews on machines, loves his Spectrum, loves his Spectrum Next, um, lives over the pond in America, and you know him as TJ. TJ, 
you're an awesome guy you have this month got youtuber of the month well done mate he's also got his own game called invasion of the cloud people so here's some footage of that Howdy folks, TJ here. My game for the next. So the game is called Invasion of the Cloud People, The Next Storm. And he's also had a game called TJ's Cavern Capers with TJ as the uh, main character. And that's a, a Spectrum game. So here's some footage of that now. <laughs> And the last thing I wanted to mention is Dave and Sharon Veary. They've run a Kickstarter for a new 8-bit adventure shooter game called Space Pirate Kimiko. And this is an 8-bit space adventure and it's for Windows. So head over there now, back this project. Here's the link. And here's some footage. So shout out, as always, I want to thank um, Spectrum Next Team, Rusty Pixels, Richard Sherman for the um, next launcher, the next launcher team, all my subscribers on YouTube, you're all fantastic. Um, also all my subscribers on Twitch as well, which is really cool, really cool, fantastic, love you. Awesome 
So that's it, you lovely humans. Thank you for watching. Um, episode six. And uh, I've also got a Discord channel as well. Um, so whoever's subscribed to that, you're awesome also. Um, I'll put some links to the uh, Discord channel if you want to join it. Um, yeah. So again, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Share the video, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I enjoy making these videos. Hope you've enjoyed episode six, first one of the new year. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.